Hey guys, I'm back with my full overview for Paranoid Android's new Halo feature. Let's start with the question, what is Halo? Well, Halo is that little ring you can see on the left side of my screen there. It's kind of hidden right now. It was inspired by Facebook chat heads, but it's been taken to a whole new level. Chat heads only worked for Facebook. Halo is fully integrated and it's fully system wide. That means it works for every app. For example, Gmail, WhatsApp, Hangouts, Google Now, and Google Music, just to name a few. What this means to me and you is we can be within an app, for example, Falcon Pro, and we can access another. For example, you can access your Gmail, you can write a Gmail, and then you can go back to your app. You can go to the gallery, you can check out a screenshot you just took, or a WhatsApp notification or anything like that, and you don't lose the context of your app. Activating Halo couldn't be more simple. All you have to do is pull down your notification shade and press the blue ringed icon on the top right hand side, and as you can see, Halo starts up and hides itself on the left. Now to move Halo around you have to use a double tap and hold gesture to drag it to anywhere on the right side and as you can see it will also hide itself or anywhere on the left side and again it will also hide itself. To close out Halo you double tap and drag it to the red X at the top and of course you have to reactivate it through the notification shade. You also have two other gestures and these are tap, hold and scroll down. This will hide Halo even more and as you can see it's hardly visible. You also have tap, hold and scroll up and this will delete your last notification. To switch between notifications in Halo, you tap and drag it outwards and you'll see the white lines on the screen, together with the highlight of icons in the status bar, show you what notification you're on. You'll also note that if your Halo's on the left, the highlight in the status bar goes from left to right. If your Halo's on the right, it goes from right to left. So it follows the direction of your finger, whatever side of the screen Halo is on. So I'm in Google Chrome right here to show you some of the functionality of Halo. Let's say you're surfing the web like you normally do, but you want to reply to your friend in WhatsApp. Now, normally you'd have to close Google Chrome, but with Halo, you can go ahead and find the notification, open up WhatsApp, it is the full app, so you can go ahead and reply, read the message, reply, send anything you want, pictures, and then go back to Google Chrome and continue surfing. You didn't lose the context of what you're doing, the page didn't have to reload, which is one of the most annoying things, and then you can do this with any application or any notification that you have. You can open your Gmails, check your messages, you can write a new Gmail, and then go back to the browser and again it didn't have to reload you didn't lose your context and that is one of the biggest things it's multitasking at its best you can open up google now check up the weather anything you want and then go back to what you were doing another thing to mention is apps don't freeze in the background so they continue running i'm going to open up the camera here just to show you that you can see my hand right there and now i'm going to access a notification in halo and you'll see that in the background, the camera is still functional. You should see my hand at the top of the screen right there. So apps continue to run in the background. It's more apparent in YouTube, which we'll just open up right now. We'll load a video and you'll see that in action again. So let's uh, turn it around here. And the video is playing right now. So let's say you want to access something in Halo. You can go ahead and do that. We'll just access this Hangout. And you can see in the background, the video is still playing. So you can use this Hangout. You can reply to the person that you want to reply to and then you can go back to your video which hasn't stopped. So apps continue running in the background. Games also continue running in the background while using Halo. You can see right now I'm accessing Google Music and Temple Run is running in the background. You can see as I open Google Music, the whole app is accessible. I can choose any of my albums, any of my songs, and then I can go back to Temple Run. And you can see right here I play it. I'm not saying this is something you should do for Temple Run because you'll probably die, but you can access it while actually running as well. You can see while I got a bit of time, I'll access my music, I'll change track and go back to the game and I can quickly turn left just in time. Next up, we've got the Halo app, which allows you to pin Android apps to Halo itself. So you don't have to receive a notification to be able to open an app. I'm just gonna pin Falcon Pro right here, which is my Twitter. And I'll now be able to access that within any app, even though I didn't receive a notification from it. So you can pin any Android app you want, and soon you'll be able to pin Android activities as well. So that's the overview of the Halo feature from the Paranoid Android team. A few things to mention, it is still in beta due to the missing tablet UI and Pi integration. Although it does work in Pi mode, you just have to activate it first in normal mode and then switch over. The last thing I want to mention is it is open source as well, so that's absolutely fantastic. Have a nice day.